Essentially, we have three materials here. We have gold, silver, and probably wrought iron. And what you have is more than likely a wrought iron support onto which is attached lots of silver. I suspect that this overall background may have been created by <clears throat> taking a wooden form and pressing it into green sand and doing a, a cast. You actually poured this and then, as is the rest of it, it's an immense amount of hammering. Repousse work. This is all repousse. It's a sheet, so you're you're pushing metal forwards and backwards, and that's how you're getting all of these raised uh, figures. All of this is raised. All these edges are all chiseled out, so there's a tremendous amount of post-casting hammering, as far as I can tell. And then all these details are all chased in with a teeny tiny little steel. Uh, it's like a punch, and you just sit and tap, 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 tap. So. You've got the plaque up, the up at the top, the crown. This is a section. This has all been hammered from one single sheet of silver. So this entire piece would have been made, first and foremost, out of silver. And then, more than likely, this is what's called a malcolm gilded. So it would be somebody's job to make a paste of mercury and gold, and then you paint the whole thing on it. So all the sections, all the parts are individually coated with a, uh, it looks like a gray paste. And then you take a torch to it, or you put it in an oven, and the mercury boils off, and what you'd be left with was the whole surface of this would look frosted and sort of lemony yellow. And then somebody sits with a little burnishing agate and burnishes every square millimeter of this, and that's how you get this reflective mercury surface.